This is what you call subtle. Hey! What's up, my peoples? Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Toys Alliance Archcore F.A. Berserker Armor. So here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at... The packaging right up front, we have a lovely, lovely piece of artwork here of the whole army going on here. Really cool artwork up top, Archcore on the bottom, words, things, stuff, QR codes. You want to scan them? Go ahead, free scan on me. You're welcome. Warning, don't eat anything in this box. That could be very bad for you. On this side of the box, we have the Berserker armor. On this side of the box, we have the Berserker armor. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, this, that, things, the other, and that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have the Berserker armor, and this is the final components that will make up Frost Light's big old, you know, final form. It's just a big old trailer, as you can see, and I already have him attached to Frost Light, so we can get the whole look here, and it does look quite impressive, and also quite long from end to end. This measures in at two feet long, so this is uh, this is two feet of awesome going on right here, but looks really cool. As you can see, Frost Light can... Rotate from side to side, can do some nice tight turns. You do have working treads here. When you pull frost light, you can see those treads will work. They work nice and smoothly too. I love fully functional treads that you don't have to actually like push down to make them work. You can just pull and they do what they're supposed to do. So right off the bat, you know, Toys Alliance, they win. They win because they have properly functioning treads. Okay, so I detached Frostlight just so we can take a closer look here at the trailer. You know what? We'll put these two back here for now, just so we can take a close look at everything. So we have this little uh, this little control station here, which just pegs on, and this can rotate here and can rotate up here. You can also uh, spin this wheel. It spins as spinning things should. Hooray for spinning. Uh, personally, this will probably not stay attached. This will end up just going back in the baggie with the instructions and live out the rest of his existence in a drawer. But you know what? It's a thing that's there. You can do things with it if you want to do things with it. But overall, I don't care too much for that. But you can see some nice detailing here on the bend. Yeah, we got some little caution stripes there. Kind of like a bronzy, coppery color going on there. Again, you got those nice rubber working treads. Got this back section here with some nice coloration going on there. And you can see the back as well. You got some big old thrusters going on there. And of course some tampograph details as well. And there is the bottom. We got some bits hanging out down there for the combined mode. But all in all, looks pretty cool. And we also get these little uh these little like mini tanks. And I do quite like these. You can flatten out this platform here. And these are really cool. And these can rotate. They can totally rotate, do a full 360. These can move up and down. A little cannon. This section can also move up and down. So you can see it also tilt forward and back. These are going to be the feet for the combined mode. So that's why you have, you even have, you know, tiltage. So hey, things you can do if you want to do it. Um, another thing you can do here is you can open up the hatch back here and you can pull out these missiles they do come out not the easiest to get out uh, come on it's not easy to get a grip on them you see we have these little missiles here and you can actually put them in close that up now, they don't fire but you know you can they will come out the other end so still a neat little thing you can do again if you want to do it hey why not dare i say why not and we can take you know half dan full dan whatever dan you can just sit him there and have him manning the tank. There are pegs here, so you can plug his feet onto it. But I'm not going to waste time trying to get him <laughs> positioned here. You get the idea. You can just sit these guys down into the tank and have them manning them, which is pretty cool. And you also have the rubber working treads as well. So they can roll around. These you do have to kind of push down a little bit just to get those treads working. But they still work pretty smoothly. And since you have nowhere to store it when the trailer is attached to Frostlight, you do have a spot here for Frostlight's shield. There is this little tab sticking up. You can just slide that down like so. And voila, you have storage for Frostlight's shield. And if you don't want to have the little tanks 
on there. Guess what? The uh, the wolf cars will also fit. You can have them both right there as well, so you can tow those along. Again, things you can do if you want to do it. So that is basically it for the trailer mode, and it looks awesome. It looks so awesome when it's all put together. Just this setup alone looks really cool and would make for a, a really awesome display on a shelf. But let's get down to the fun stuff here, and let's combine all of this, shall we? Let's! So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get these little uh, these little tanks all set up and ready to go. So what we're going to do is you're going to come back here. You're going to remove this little missile rack. Put that off to the side. You're going to remove this front section right here. Just tabbed in. Just wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Pull that out. Put that off to the side. What we're going to do now is we're going to take this section and bring it back. And there are tabs that will go into slots right here. And snap that into place. You can bring that down. Not all the way down, just bring it down a little bit because we're going to bring these panels up and there is a post that will plug in right there to secure that one side and the other side you just bring up like that. And then we're going to come under here and we're going to untab the treads from the toesies and bring the toes all the way up till they snap into place and then rotate the treads in. You can see the little tabs and kind of clips, not really clips, it's just a place for them to go. It doesn't actually lock in, but just a place for them to kind of meet in the middle. And there you have a photo all done. And you do the exact same thing to the other one. And there we have his new shoes all ready to go. Now the only prep work we have to do for Frostlight himself is we just want to take his feet and just bring them back and they will just kind of thoop into place. And then you just take his toe and bring it up like that. And do the same thing on the other side, just bring that foot up, and just kind of flip itself into place, and then just flip that toe up, and once that is done, you have this rail right here, which will go into this notch right there. So you just take it, and just slide it on, like so. And you do the same thing on the other side. Just take this, and just slide it on like that and now he has great strength of feet and then we're going to bring in these bits right here and they will tab into slots right here in his knee pads and make super knee pads so now he will have you know what he has now he has great strength of knees and then we bring in these missile pods and they will plug in to either side of his hips and now he has what great strength of hips so now we're going to start working on the trailer itself here. So what we want to do first is remove this and just put that off to the side for now. We're going to take this whole back section off. Now it tabs in to the sides here. So make sure you just untab these sections. So untab that and untab this from the side of the tread. Just give it a little wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. It does tap in very securely. And then you're just going to... Just pop this off. And again, all this holds on quite securely. Maybe a little too securely. Come on. Come on, baby. There we go. Whoosh. So just pop this off. And we're going to take this section here and just unclip that. And what we're going to do here is you have these armatures. You want to extend it out and then rotate it up 90 degrees. And then just push it back in. You see there's a little tab notch right there to hold that in place. Same thing on the other side, just pull that out, rotate it up, and then just push that in like so, and that's all ready to go. There's some other bits we need to remove from the trailer here, so take these side panels and untab them, bring them down, and untab them, bring them down. You can bring them all the way down until they just snap into the sides here, like so. And what we're gonna do here is we're going to just untab these sections here, Untab all of that and all of that will come off. We'll take this put this off to the side for now and What we are doing here is just untabbing these tread sections Like so and we can just pull this out pull this out and pull this out and There we go. We have all that disassembled so we're going to get the backpack on now, but one thing to note is that you do get some uh, filler pieces here for the shoulders. They're in the box. If you bring the shoulder pad down, you can see right in here, you have this little circular bit that you just push in 
to where that screw hole is, and I don't know what this is supposed to fix. I think it makes the shoulders tighter or something. I don't know, but yeah, you see those little circular pieces in the box? They just push in right in there. And that's all you're doing with that. But now let's get the backpack in place. So yeah, the post right here is going to go into the clip on his back. So you want to situate that first. So drop that in. So what you want to do here is you want these little tabs to go under his chest piece right there. So what the instructions tell you to do is just put your thumb here and put your thumb on his pack and just kind of push up, push up on his pack, push down on the backpack. And if you do it right, it should just push itself in and snap in. Um, I find that this side is actually a bit easier to get situated, but it's not the easiest thing. There we go. That actually snapped in pretty easily. Let's see if we can get the other side in. Uh, no, this side doesn't cooperate as well. There it goes. That side, that side likes to fight me a little more than the other side, but there we go. Now we got the backpack clipped on, and one thing we can do now is we can bring down this little little armature here and this is a place to store the hammer so you just want to have it in this orientation and you have a post right here that will go into this port right there so you can just take this and just oops just plug it in like so and there you have storage for your hammer some booty storage for your hammer and next up we're going to bring in the chest piece and this will just tab itself in. You have a tab slot connection right in there and right here on the side so you just line everything up and everything should just drop right into place on your side like that. And now he has great strength of chest and great strength of back. Hooray! Hooray for that. And coming back down here we have this piece that we pulled off of the backpack and this will plug onto his crotch. And now he has great strength of crotch, which is really what any guy wants, isn't it? And now back up here, we have these shoulder pads. And what you're going to do is you're going to just open these up like so. And there are these tabs on either side. They're going to slots on either side here at the top of the shoulder. So just a case of line up the back. And then you can just snap on the front. There you go. He's got a big old shoulder pad going on. And of course, you're going to do the same thing on to the other side. Just line this up and just tab it in, tab it in. Make sure that little symbol there is facing forward. And there you go. He has this big old shoulder pads going on. And now we're going to put on his wolf mitts. We already know how these work, so I'm just going to put these on real quick. And there you have Frostlight fully berserked, and oh my god, this looks so cool. <laughs> this looks so cool. <laughs> it's ridiculous, but at the same time, awesome, and I love it. I'm here for it. I'm a fan. I am totally a fan of this. So cool. So, so cool. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at all of this lovely... Lovely new detail. Look at all this going on here. It would have been nice if maybe they'd given him like a new helmet or something, just so it's, you know, so his head kind of gets a bit of an upgrade. But all in all, though, this looks awesome. You can see a chest piece here has a nice transparent plastic. You can get some symbolage in there, if you can see it anyway. But all in all, really cool. Again, nice paintwork, nice detail. His big old wolf mitts, his great strength of crotch. His new big old shoes, big old claws going on there. Really, really awesome. And it all connects very securely. Love that backpack, love those big thrusters back there. You can love the paintwork. It all looks so, so, so cool. I love it, I absolutely love this. Now, as far as weaponry goes, as if all of this isn't enough to beat somebody up with, but anyway, we get chainsaw swords. Oh, yes. You had me at chainsaw swords. You had me at chainsaw swords. Yes. And these look really cool. Love the way these look. And again, you have that fully functioning mechanism going on there. And these are... So freaking cool! So basically how these work is you're just going to uh, untab this section and swing it forward so you can get this into his hand and it just drops right down. There's a little rail for it. So it just slides right down into his hand. And you can wrap his fingers around it and then you just swing this back in 
tab it back in like so. And yeah, the elbows are not exactly strong enough to hold them up, to hold all of this up. Kind of doable, but eh, 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 not too much. And it makes them a little heavy there. So balance is definitely something you have to be mindful of when you have this whole setup going on. But you can have him wielding both chainsaw swords, and that right there is just freaking, freaking awesome. Now, as far as storage for the chainsaw swords, you do have these two posts here on either side of these armatures, which will go into these ports right here. So you can just take the chainsaw swords and plug them in, and these will make them a bit back heavy. So again, just be mindful of your balance. But you can totally have those chainsaw swords stored on his back. Hooray for storage! Now, as far as this thing goes, which, again, I don't much care for. It has some nice molded detail in there, but I don't much care for it. Like I said, this is probably going to go back in the baggie with the instructions and live in a drawer. But, you know, I have seen people take this and just swing this post out and, like, plug it in here, just so it has somewhere to go. Um, again, that's a case of do what you want. But, you know, like I said, that's probably going to end up in a drawer. But, you know, hey, there's still a place to put it if you want to put it somewhere, if you do want to use it for the, uh, for the trailer mode. But there you have that. But wait, there's more because we can still do something with this slab right here. Oh, we can do something with this slab. Oh, yes, we can. So what we can do here is we can take this section and fold it out. Then we can unfurl this little flag here and you don't want to pull it all the way out because it's just kind of shoved into a slot so it's a little bit of a pain in the butt to get it back in so don't pull it out but you can see that going on nice nice soft fabric too it's very soft oh feel it i wish you could feel it can you feel it feel it feel it sorry it's getting uncomfortable but anyway just take this panel here it just tabs in right there so just untab it and bring it up and i'll just tab into these two slots right here to hold that in place like so. Then we take this big old blade here and it basically just kind of like swings up and out. So swing that up and out like that. And then you would come here to this section and bring this down. And we're going to take these little feeties and flip them out, flip them out, flip them out, and flip them out. Once you do that, you're just going to wrap this around the base like so, and I'll just tab in right there to secure. Then you're gonna take this whole bottom section and just rotate it 180. And there you go, you have a ginormic, and I mean ginormic, big ol' battle axe. My God. I mean, look at this thing, look at this thing. This is pretty much like the, I mean, this is pretty much like a little hatchet, really, for a person. I mean, this is. It is insane. It is absolutely insane, but I also absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. And in keeping with the idea of everything should have somewhere to go, you do have a tab right here to accommodate the shield. So you can just take the shield and it will just slide right on and lock itself in like so and there you have a spot for your shield and uh, again look at this thing look at this thing love the coloration on it just nice and vibrant the coloration on the blade looks so cool but yeah that is that's 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 crazy right there that's just crazy and here is our berserker frost light with the axe and you can see the axe is bigger than he is i mean my lord my Lord, but it's still freaking awesome. I don't care. It's still freaking awesome. And you can't hold it. You do have the tabs on either side here, so you can hold it in either hand. Again, it's the same method. You just drop it down into that uh, into that track and just wrap his fingers around it. And there you go. <laughs> you got Frostlight with his ginormic axe. That is insane on so many levels and yet so awesome on so many levels. And for a quick comparison, uh, here it is with MP44 Optimus Prime, who stands at about nine and a half inches tall, just so you can see how, uh, how that all <laughs> works out. So, there you go. So there you have the Berserker armor, and uh, yeah, this is really cool. So cool. I'm really happy I went in on this line because, yeah, just really good stuff here, really fun stuff here. 
Just some really well done solid figures, you know, Frostlight himself, really well done figure, the wolves are really well done, the trailer really well done, this whole combined mode looks amazing. Uh, my only real qualm is that the elbow joints are not quite strong enough to hold up the uh, chainsaw swords, they're strong enough, but could have been they could have been stronger same thing with the knees the knee joints could have been a bit stronger just to deal with the you know the extra weight uh, from the combined mode but other than that really awesome line here i love that this company decided to just do their own thing create their own you know characters create their own universe and i love seeing that it's different it's interesting and you know me i am always a fan of different and interesting and this is definitely that and uh yeah really cool really well done so there you go. Now, if you would like this or any of Toys Alliance's other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out the ArchCore playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Love, Peace, Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Toys Alliance Archcore FA Berserker Armor. And this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Palm in your face. <laughs> Amateur.